Hello everybody, I am Gayman5804 and well we're gonna be doing another let's play. I'm probably gonna be doing these let's plays is for a long time. I'll be doing these reviews hopefully when I learn how to you know do editing and stuff. But that's not what I'm here to talk about. Well I wanna talk about the LP that's going on. Cause we are playing in none other than Sonic Adventure DX Director's Cut. Yes, ladies and gentlemen, and I want I decided to choose a Sonic game since I'm not really known on that well yet, and I'm not really going on the viewer choice. I'm do, I'm just going by my choice. So deal with it for now. <laughs> oh, but enough backstory. He uh, yeah. Sonic Adventure, originally released on the Dreamcast in 1998 in Japan and 1999 for the U.S. as in other countries. He's, however, I really don't own a Dreamcast or a copy of Sonic Adventure 1. And as you saw by the title, we are actually playing the DX. We're actually playing the DX port. But I don't. But it's not the GameCube version, as you can tell by the lack of full screen. And we are actually playing in the PlayStation Network slash PC slash Xbox Live port. Right, but me, I'm I'm just doing it. I'm doing it on the P PSN and port. So, yeah. Son so Sonic Adventure. One of the most well-known Sonic games of all time, and I forgot, and I, and I'm probably not going to be able to save during the adventure. I wish I would have just hit new game. That was really my fault. Well, but uh, it's going to be a while. But as you see, yes, there are there is a well character selection screen. I didn't show it off because, well, most of the characters are locked, except Sonic. Hick, I'm not going to spoil the other characters, well, for those that haven't really played this game. And it, and it's really kind of pointless for me he, he to not spoil everything because, well, most of you guys know, all of you guys know, pretty much know the playable characters. Just so, just saying that right now. But now... Here we got. Here we are. Sonic Adventure. Here, here, this, the area that takes place is in the first human, in city, E Station Square. Here, yes, humans. And tr trust me, trust me, we're gonna be seeing more of these humans. Believe me, it's not like that. They're not gonna be a huge issue. Oh, ho, ho, no. Believe me, it's gonna be an issue later on. On as the series, these came on, came around, <laughs> especially near the modern era. Uh, which, uh, but that's for another time. So we have this thing, a blue jelly-like alien creature. I mean, I know it's water, or it's really water, but it looks more like blue jelly to me. Sorry, I mean, I'm sorry I'm being a little random, but I, that's just what I think, you know? But as we can obviously tell, there is a monster. Since there's a monster out, oh, and Sonic is, our, is the hero, this is going to be a boss fight against Chaos Zero. Well, the first boss fight in the game, so it's not really that hard. And and in case and if you want to know what I just did, did there, well, obviously you know, but just a little refresher. That I did the home. It's pretty much a homing attack, and I got hit by the by one of the easiest bosses in the game. Him, hey, I'm sort of a noob. Well, noobish for me. I didn't die, but by pressing the jump button in the air, Sonic hey, will home will home in on stuff. This ranges from enemies, springs, item boxes, is you name it. And when there's no target in the vicinity, 
he'll do a little air dash. Which is really helpful if you want to save yourself from bottomless pits. It's And uh, after this game, the homing attack is Sonic's second trademark ability next to the spin dash, which is which is once again, which is in this game as well. Well, and obviously there's voice acting, which is kind of iffy in this game. <laughs> I'll tell you this right now. Presentation, eh, it's bad. Like, you'll notice later on in cutscenes, that lip syncing is off. Uh, and, uh... Eggman actually has a new design. And since this is a step up in 3D, the Sonic characters here's get somewhat reworked designs. Like Sonic has more detail, meaning that he has meaning on the bottom for example on the bottom of his shoes. Uh he looks a lot slimmer er, than he did in the classic era. And every Sonic character here, has eye color. Oh my god, Sonic has green eyes! His, his, worst game ever, ha! Ah. I don't know if, I don't know if they're, those Sonic complaint paints are still there, but if they are, they need to shut up. They really do. But enough complaining about the fan base. otherwise, we are actually heading into the first stage of the game, Emerald Coast. And you may not be hearing this right now, oh, but the song that's playing... Oh my god. Uh, this is without a doubt one of the best songs in a Sonic game. In fact, I'll say this right now. Uh, for the first 3D Sonic game, in terms of music, Sonic Adventure has a damn fine soundtrack. Oh, I love this stuff. Uh, it's just so catchy and upbeat. Especially in this stage. Hey, General Coast. Which is kind of redundant for me to say, but... Hey, you seriously need to find the soundtrack. Like, or look at... Audio rips on YouTube. Um, it's one of the... It's... Again, my... Sonic Adventure is one of my favorite... Sonic soundtracks, personally. Yeah, I mean... Most of the time, Sonic soundtracks are pretty good, but... This one is just up there, along with other games that are up there include Sonic 06, Sonic Colors, Unleashed, Generations, Adventure 2. Yeah, I pretty much love every Sonic soundtrack out there, except Shadow of the Hedgehog. But, in ter but Emerald Coast, it's your typical first Sonic stage. It gets you in the mood with the play. Hey, this game, so you shouldn't have too much trouble. Also, oh, and obviously we get Badniks again. I know, I know, Badniks make a return in Sonic, Sonic Adventure Two, but they're really most known in this game. This is actually the most where Sonic actually <laughs> has gotten the the most. 3D Sonic, the 3D Sonic game that's been hearkening most of the classics. But now we are nearing the end of Emerald Coast. I'll, but I'll say this right now about the stage itself. You, you saw that I got chased by a whale. We're going to be seeing those whales later on as the series continued. Because they... Because for some reason, they just hold a grudge against Sonic the Hedgehog. I have no idea why it's like that, but it's just weird. It's like, it's one of those things where it just comes out of nowhere. Or, and but at the same time, it only pops up for like a few seconds. And so, yeah, first cutscene. Well, not first cutscene, but... I don't even know why I said, why I said first cutscene. My bad. Uh, yeah. As you can see, the, the lip syncing is really bad. Like, really bad. It's not even matching up with like 
the the voice acting nor the subtitles. Also, I don't really know much of the voice acting cast. I I know that uh, Connor Brignus Brignus I think is Tails. Ryan Drummond is Sonic. Dean Bristow is a uh, Eggman. And uh. And little voice actor, and little, and voice, and some, even, Lanny Manel is in this game, game where she's actually the train lady. He, she would later voice Rouge the Bat in uh, Sonic Adventure 2 and Sonic Heroes. It was, but she did voice Bubsy. Yeah, what a bottom that she started from. She yes, she voiced Bubsy from Bubsy 3D. I feel sorry. I feel sorry for her. her but yeah, we have the first Eggman boss coming up. But actually, I just want to say this right now. Uh, speaking of since since Sonic Generations, I mentioned that it has a good soundtrack. In terms of like mods, real quick, uh, someone's actually porting in uh, Sonic Adventure stages is in Sonic Generations. I saw Emerald Coast and Mystic Ruins, and uh, okay, how redundant by force the hard way, really? But <laughs> yeah, uh, Court, this guy. I gotta say this right now, dude. If you're watching this, keep doing what you're doing, man. Cause while I don't have Sonic Generations P on the PC, I still want to see like the progress in this this mod. Cause I really do like that mod, along with the 06 project that this guy's coming up up with. But yeah, now we have the Egg Hornet. It basically he'll fly around a bit. Shoot missiles that are easily they can easily dodge. Uh, then he'll dive bomb for the ground, um, but he'll get stuck. So when he's stuck, just use your homing attack. So the fight's not really that hard. Well, it it's the second boss fight in the game, so it shouldn't it it's not really supposed to be difficult. But fun fact, fun fact about Robotnik. This is actually the last game where he's called Robotnik. Hey, from Sonic Adventure 2 and onwards, he'll be called Eggman. And and so why is Eggman being used from the Sonic characters? Well, Eggman has really been taken use as an insult. Well, and Robotnik really hates that name. And but and since but since he's calling himself Eggman. And one game later, it's like, ah, whatever, I'll stick with it. More catchy. Yeah, it's more... It's more goofy. You know, whatever, I don't know. Oh, and Eggman Land just sounds a better name. At least it sounds like a better name. My apologies for that bad Eggman voice. I'm not really too good in impressions. Yeah, so that Chaos Emerald is just floating in his hand and make and poor poor animation there. Real, that's one thing I forgot to mention about the presentation in uh, Sonic Adventure. The animation, at least in cutscenes, it's poor, like really poor. Or like every movement. Movement is way too stiff. I don't know. No, no animations are fluent. And, and they're really... He's repeat. And it really repeats. And while later on it does get cinematic, it's still a little, it still looks pretty stiff. If and a little unpleasant to look at. 
So, yeah, he named, yeah, so the empire that he'll rule will be called Robotnik Land. Eh, Robotnik Land and Eggman Land, they just don't sound like good names. But, then again, what else can you call it? it but, yeah, we are nearing the end of, so of part one. And I have such a ways he's to go just to get hit back heck on track. I just get to this point, so I am so yeah, you might be waiting a little bit for that one, so just telling you that right now. But nonetheless I am Game Man five eight oh four. You guys hey have a great day and the next time we he play this game and we're gonna be heading into Windy Valley the next stage, so Again, game in favor of 40. Guys, have a great day.